nine or five. Stay young, please. Thank you. Hi, Pastor. You know who I am. Happy birthday to you. May God continue to bless you, give you many, many more years. We're glad to have you here as our pastor. We love you with a special love. Happy birthday. Oh, good. Happy birthday. You know what I'm saying? What day is it? August 14th. You know what I'm saying? Happy birthday. You know, you're 45 and all that. So you're at the church. You're my pastor and all that. All right. Peace. Have fun. Eat food. Bye. Hey, Pastor. I represent Cowboys. We in the house. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday and have many, many more in return. Praise the Lord. We're happy for you. Amen. Pastor Williams. Hey, Rashi. What an awesome man of God, man. And I wish you the best. Uh, you have no idea how much you mean to me. Happy birthday. You just made a mistake being a cowboy fan. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Bye. Pastor Angel Richard, my son. I just wanted to wish you happy birthday. God bless you. And now many, many more. I bless you with health and strength and prosperity. And just keep looking to the Lord as He continue to pour in you. Right. And just want to say happy birthday once again. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Did I kiss you yet? Yes, you did. I just want to wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> Put the Cowboys are going down. <laughs> <laughs> That's your wife, man. Hey, man, happy birthday. Um, Johnny, what can I say? You know, uh, just uh, happy birthday. I'm glad that, uh, to be able to, to be here and, 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 and wish you a happy birthday. I was just telling Jeff, we probably should have had this out in Dallas, you know, right there at the stadium, you know, where uh, you could be like you did two years ago, pretend you were catching the football and stuff, you know. But uh, unfortunately, we have to do it here in St. Petersburg. So, uh, <laughs> Happy birthday, man, and and, uh, and I know that the Lord is going to bless you with many more. You know, uh, keep on keeping on. Have to bring the camera over here to the workstation. Happy birthday, Pastor Williams. We love you. We pray for many more birthdays to come. Rashid Guest, the Minister of Music. Happy birthday. Thank you. Philadelphia. <laughs> Philadelphia. <laughs> Philly. Happy birthday, Pastor. Happy birthday to you, Pastor Williams. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I hope you enjoy my presents I gave you. But for the last, I hope you it. Happy birthday, Pastor. You enjoy yourself today, Pastor? I'm not sure, yeah. That's good. I was shocked. <laughs> yeah, we know we seen your face when you came in. Yeah, I was shocked. But happy birthday. Thank you so much. Three. Happy birthday. <laughs> Y'all know the game. Uh, family Feud. We say happy birthday to Pastor. Happy birthday, Pastor. Next year, this year, Pastor. No. <laughs> Say happy, say happy birthday to Pastor. Uh -oh. I think that was like.
Justin. I knew they were going to ask that question. Yeah. You want the answers or you want to try to answer it on there? Dennis Pitta, Anquan Bowden. Dennis Pitta, Anquan Bowden, Tory Smith, Jacoby Jones. Finishing the record of 15 and 1. In the 2012 season, the best record was 13 and 3. Which two teams had that record? Denver Broncos and the Falcons, 
San Francisco 49ers and the New England Patriots. Broncos are the 49ers. Yeah. <laughs> After the Baltimore Ravens lost 28-31 overtime to the Washington Redskins in Week 14, Ravens coach John Harbaugh made a difficult decision and fired the team's offensive coordinator, Cam Cameron. Which former head coach ended up replacing Cameron? Tony Dungy, North Turner, Mike Singletary, Jim Collins. Who, who called it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Dungy, yeah, Tony Dungy, North Turner, Mike Singletary, Jim Caldwell. Say something. Hey, I'm still warm. Against the Seattle Seahawks in the divisional round of the playoffs, the Atlanta Falcons gave up a huge lead 20 zip at the halftime and almost lost the game, but ultimately prevailed by 30 28 the next week. The same thing happened against another NFC Western team, except the Falcons could not pull it off again and advance to the Super Bowl. Which team finally took Atlanta down? 49ers, Cowboys. <laughs> jumping out of the building up what was eventually a 28-6 lead over the San Francisco 49ers. However, early in the third quarter, the lights in the stadium went out. How long was the power outage that some claims shifted momentum favor to the 49ers? Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. Record-breaking year for Brett Favre, breaking Dan Marino's records for completions, attempts, and touchdowns in a career. Whose career interceptions record did Brett also break? Fred Tarkenton, John Hattie, George Bellenden, or Johnny Unitas? touchdown passes was more than the other three teams in the AFC East combined. True or false? Yes. Which giant has six steps by himself? Michael Strahan, Fred Robbins, Justin Tuck, or Human Error? Anybody know the whistle? He blew it. Strahan, Robbins, Tuck, or Human Error? <laughs>
Yeah, she's good. Hold on, get in line. Here, get in line. Here, here. Get in line. Here. 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 Go, Robbie. Here. Uh, hold on. Here, here, here. 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 Here, here.